girls. Today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial. I thought I would choose a look that I've already done in one of my videos and it seemed to get a lot of positive feedback so thank you for that girls. The look I'm going to do today is basically just um it's like a natural look. It's very easy to do, very quick to do, and I think that, you know, once you see it, you're going to love it, you're going to want to try it, and I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. So let's get started. Today I'm going to be using my e.l.f. primer, and this stuff is amazing. First of all, it was a dollar, so honestly, I think you know by now that anytime I get something that's like very cheap and affordable, I'm like in love with it, so I don't even have to tell you how much I love it. So I'm going to apply this to my lids. If you notice, I'm not looking into the camera. It's because I have, I have a mirror. If I could talk, set up like directly behind the camera, and I'm just gonna be looking into that. I'm sorry, but yeah. Now we're gonna let that dry. I'm going to take out my vanity palette from Wet n Wild, number 240. I'm going to take a shadow brush, and I'm applying. I should have told you, the lightest color right up at the top left corner. It's like a creamy bone color, and I'm just applying that on my lid for right this second, and I'm also going to sweep it into my tear duct area and all over my lid because I feel it acts as a nice base as well. I know a lot of people use the NYX Jumbo Stick in Milk as a base, and that is amazing too. I actually ran out, and I have to go back to Ulta and buy one because I hate not using it. But for now, this definitely does the job. So just make sure to apply it all over your lids and your eye. And now we're going to do the other eye. I'm going to blow my brush off. And I'm going to take the darkest color to the left on the bottom. And it's like a chocolate brown, very deep chocolate brown. And I'm going to lightly tap my brush into it and blow off the excess and now I'm going to start to create the outer V and basically what I did is I just tapped the color right over here and brought it out and then I'm starting to sweep it in to the crease area so we're just gonna keep going back and forth and then we're gonna take a little bit more I like to build this color up instead of just, you know, immediately having like this big dark area. I like to build, girls, build the colors up. So once again, start there, bring it in, and do the windshield wiper motion to, you know, start blending it in. Now you can go as dark or as light with this part as you want. I'm just showing you the way I do it, but it's all about personal preference, so never feel like you have to do exactly what I did. I mean, obviously, if you want my exact look, that's a different story, but just to get an idea, definitely do whatever works for you, whatever you're most comfortable doing. That seems to be good. Anything that looks like it's too dark in one area, do not worry because we are going to blend it out and it's all going to look wonderful. Now I'm starting the other eye and bringing it in. Just like we did on the first eye, we're just going to dab the color there up and in. Dab up in. <laughs> that was kind of cute. <laughs> if I do say so myself. And we're just blending, blending, blending. Mrs. Fields. I used to adore Mrs. Fields when I was younger. And she used to have a cooking show. Well, it was really a baking show. On whatever station it was. I don't know if it was the Food Network back then. But I remember she constantly used to say... Blend, 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 girls, blend, 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 and mix, 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 because she, every time she was making, like, one of her famous cookies or whatever, she would always say that. It was hysterical to me, and I still say it to this day. I wonder 
wonder whatever happened to Mrs. Field. I know she made a friggin' fortune on her cookies. So, she's probably living the good life somewhere. Because she has definitely dipped off the radar. Okay. If one eye looks a little darker, like mine does right now, we're just going to take some more color onto this one and even it out. And now that it's starting to look a little, I'm going to take my blending brush and just blend it all together. I use circular motions. Sometimes I go into like, you know, back and forth motion. But we really just want to do whatever we need to to blend it all out and blend it together. Because we want it to look natural, right girls? You want it to look natural. You want a man to look at you and be like, oh, she is gorgeous. Not that you aren't, but when we use makeup, it's not to cover our faces up or change our appearance. It's to enhance the beautiful qualities and beautiful features we already have. So that is the main objective in my eyes for makeup. And now we're blending the other side. Um, blending is probably the most important part of makeup application because it can make or break your look. If you do not blend well, then it looks horrible and people know what you did. They know that, you know, you're wearing a ton of makeup or makeup in general, especially when you have foundation and you have that infamous line right here that is horrible when I see girls that have that I feel so bad for them and I want to run up to them with like a a stippling brush or some kind of blending tool and just blend it out for them because it's horrible it looks terrible okay now that we've blended everything together we're gonna go back into that first color we used that really creamy bone color and we're going to make sure our brush is clean, and then we're going to dip into that, and we're going to highlight under the brow bone. And that just really helps to make your brows stand out even more, and really just like enhances the shape of them. I'm currently in the process of, you know, reshaping my brows. I want more of an arch, and to get that, I really have to just grow them out even though I hate the way it looks sometimes, but whatever. In the end, I'm going to get them the way I want them. So now that we're done with that, I'm just going to apply my mascara. And that's the look. It's a very simple, easy look. And you can definitely do this in the morning on, you know, you have 10 minutes left before you have to leave the house for school, work, whatever. And this is definitely a look you can do. The mascara I'm using, I don't remember if I said it or not. If I did, I'm getting old and I'm having an Alzheimer's moment. But I'm using the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express. That is my look, girls. This is it. Very simple, very natural looking, very easy. That's the main thing. When you're in a rush, this is your go-to look. This is my go-to look. So I'm hoping maybe you're going to like it too. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fabulous night, and right now it's raining outside, and it's like thunderstorm type deal. Yeah, not fun. But, um, yeah, so please comment below, rate the video. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe above. And if you have any requests, I mean, I love getting requests and, you know, people want to see different things or they want a review of something, I'd be more than happy to do it. So just ask. And yeah, thanks for watching, girls. Bye. Mwah.